Welcome back to my channel. In today's episode, we're going to be working on a 21 foot Malahide worker with my uncle Peter, the shipwright. You might have seen him in previous episodes working on the 1940 seaplane tender. More episodes on that shortly, guys. And in the meantime, I'm learning and working alongside my uncle, the master craftsman. So it'll be much more interesting uh, episodes, and we do expect to see some exciting projects and I will return to the 1940 seaplane tender very soon. The wheelhouse bulkhead needs to be replaced along with replacing the fiberglass plywood roof and as you can see with the old one water started to creep in from the sides and degrade the plywood. So that's what we're going to be tackling today along with some additional storage, a bench seat inside which will have additional storage. So we fitted the plywood bulkhead in and then secured it in place with bolts, making sure to pre-drill and countersink first. It was a little bit finicky and tricky to get the nuts treaded onto the bolts from reaching in underneath the bilge, but I managed to get it in the end. So to secure the new plywood for the roof, we needed to drill down through the ply yeah, and then it. through the thin layer of fiberglass. And you know, as my uncle Peter was drilling down through the ply, was it was even out. bending the fiberglass underneath it. Not like it was good. just so thin. So this is why it's so vital that this new plywood gets put in place and then strengthened up and weatherproofed using new fiberglass. So as Peter put the bolts through the freshly drilled holes in the roof, I made sure to add washers and bolts on the underside. We tightened those up. And as we progressed from the port side to the starboard side of the cabin, this allowed the plywood to pull down nice and snug. I do, yeah, yeah.
a small cutout for a Perspex window to go in place. Removing the old batten, it sat further forward so the new bulkhead will actually extend allowing for a little bit of extra room in the wheelhouse cabin. These trim sections of plywood will fit under the overhang of the roof, giving it extra strength and stability. I don't know why they never, why is it, so you can change them? Or... Huh? It's funny they never secure these on. Isn't it? Yeah. You see that plank that you have there? In, what do they do with the bit of the saw do you? After dry fitting all the plywood trim, it's time for a glue up using good old cask and white. We secured the trim using copper nails and then clenching them over. Do you need any? Huh? Do you no, need any? Come down and just check on that. Don't worry. See the, it seems see strong. The, see the grip on them. They weren't even in that far, and it was a bit to take them out, wasn't it? Oh. Yeah.
Jones. making an inner bench in the wheelhouse with additional storage so the top will actually lift out. A simple cutout at the bottom will allow for tools to be slid in underneath or for any additional storage. That's what I'd like to get at some Repurpose the old latch to secure the door open. This will work well when out at sea and you don't want the door swinging around and bashing about. Do you want me to help you hold it in place? Just my feet in the wrong position. Yeah. So that's all for this episode guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, next episode we're going to be fiberglassing the roof, I don't know about you guys but I'm super excited about that, to do some real quality fiberglass work and uh, especially to do it under the guide of my uncle. If you enjoyed this video uh, please do leave a like and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, it will really help me out. So thanks for the continued support guys, as always stay productive and have fun creating. I will see you in the next episode.
That's it.